In November 2006, BMW introduced the new second-generation Mini Hatch on a redesigned platform that included many styling and technical changes, according to the creators. First, and probably most important, is the use of the Prince engine, developed jointly with PSA Peugeot Citroën engineers, based on the latest energy-saving technologies. It was originally included with the Mini Cooper and Mini Cooper S, and since 2007 with the Mini 1. At the same time, according to experts from the specialized British magazine Evo, who tested the car, BMW managed to change everything, leaving everything the same. And Porsche, for example, has been doing this for 40 years. According to the JNCAP methodology, the car received only three plus stars. According to existing corporate legend, when Frank Stevenson was preparing to present a full-size model of the future car made of clay to the commission, he realized that he had not equipped it with an exhaust pipe. Stevenson took an empty beer can, cut out the top of it, peeled off the paint and inserted it in the right place. The model was approved, and the cars were put into serial production in strict accordance with the design decision. Later, the similarity of the exhaust pipe with the beer can was noted repeatedly. Once reincarnated by BMW, the second-generation Mini Cooper, one, is known as the R56. This is so as not to be confused, since these cars are reluctant to change their appearance over the years. Externally, the R56 is difficult to distinguish from the first generation, R50-53, although they do not have a single common body part. From 2006 to 2014, the Super Mini with premium retro ambitions was sold around the world in a fair amount, but the car did not become at least somewhat massive on the Russian market. We don't like the exotic. And the era of auto glamour touched harsh Russia only with the very tip of its bright plumage, on which our charismatic with English roots turned out to be. The R56 was already quite advanced in technical terms, although a small, but very effective mechanism. In terms of suspension settings, the second Mini took a little pity on its riders, by their own numerous requests, in comparison with the first version. But in general, this is a real driver's saga, able to hold on tightly to the road. In the Russian secondary market, the majority are copies brought from the USA. Less than half of the cars sold by local official dealers and a few from Europe. A line of modifications based on gasoline force with a volume of 1.6 and 2.0 liters, the basic version of 190 horsepower, and in ascending order, Cooper, 120-122 HP, Cooper S, 175-184L.S, and John Cooper Works, 211 horsepower and 218 horsepower for GP. There are two transmissions, six-speed mechanics and a classic hydro transformer automatic. The second Mini got the Prince engine, EP6, a joint development of the Bavarians and the PSA concern. Economical and flexible, dynamic, with a lightweight aluminum block, direct injection and turbocharging instead of a mechanical supercharger. However, in terms of reliability, it lost to the Chrysler Pentagon, the predecessor motor. Coopers of various capacities could already have serious problems at 20,000 kilometers, mainly due to flaws in the lubrication system and timing mechanism. The chain stretched, the tensioners could not cope, and the channels of the blockhead were quickly clogged with deposits. The manufacturer eliminated the shortcomings only for restyling in 2010, he modernized the head and the oil pump, reflashed the brains. But the level and frequency of oil changes is still worth strictly inspecting. Its consumption during active driving can reach up to 1.5 liters per 1,000 kilometers. And you need to choose a more powerful Cooper S, 175 horsepower, with caution. Due to the presence of a turbocharger, the engine consumes much more oil than its naturally aspirated, donor, 1.6L, 120 horsepower. The machine is rarely naughty, only when it overheats, the only thing is that it requires an oil change with filters every 100,000 kilometers. On the other hand, fans of beating with the manual gearbox are doomed to frequent, sometimes after 20,000 kilometers, clutch replacement. The clutch in the Mini is generally a weak point. The quality of the paintwork and corrosion resistance usually do not cause complaints. But the chrome peels off quickly, perhaps even the paint on the hood is wiped from contact with the arches. It happens that the door locks jam or the rear shelf of the trunk rumbles. Backlash in the folding mechanism of the front seats is also a common thing. But there are more questions to the electrician. This is far from the Mini's strong point. Faults are common, and you cannot call them systemic. The electric drives of the windows, from 5,000 rubles, and the sunroof fail. The climate display flickers or goes out completely, 
the wiper motors fail. Suspension consumables are inexpensive stabilizer bushings, they are changed at almost every MOT. Racks live twice as long, up to 50,000 kilometers, the service life of ball bearings, from 1,500 rubles, and silent blocks, from 1,200 rubles. The front shock absorbers are not long-lived, and the revision of all levers after the 100 will cost about 30,000 rubles. And well, you say, there is a lot of trouble with the Mini. Does it make sense to buy a used tomboy who has probably been in road alterations more than once in his life? It is hard to say. Such purchases are made not by the mind, but by the heart. But we guarantee that even a well-worn Cooper, who has been in a lot of accidents, is able to deliver a lot of unforgettable emotions and new sensations to its owner. But isn't that the point? Suspension. The suspension is relatively reliable and does not present unpleasant surprises, not counting the bushings of the front stabilizer, a penny part, in order to replace what you need to remove the subframe. There is a nuance, the rear trailing arms are made of aluminum and do not like numerous operations to replace the racks. One day, during the next suspension upgrade, the steel mounting bolt will finally kill the threads in the transmission. The Eisen 6F21WA automatic transmission, which appeared just before the 2006 generational change, is reliable. Sometimes it goes up to 150,000 kilometers. The only thing, due to her peculiarities, she does not like to work in the heat, which is why she often overheats. As a result, oil starvation and unscheduled repairs, from 50,000 rubles. During operation, problems may arise with the pressure regulator and solenoid valves in the hydraulic unit, from 25,000 rubles. Engine. The turbine on the Cooper S fails due to oil starvation. Symptoms, power loss and metallic sound coming from a stretched chain. Possible prevention, oil change more often than the regulations, that is, every 8,000 to 10,000 kilometers. We do not recommend copies from America. They cause more problems in operation. They have a more capricious food system. After our fuel, we often have to flush the injector. Brakes. Even for active driving, the stock brake system is enough for most drivers. Among many fans, Hawk pads of the HPS series are well deservedly popular. They do not creak, they more actively resist overheating. So long. Mini's premium roots show up in the cabin. You will have to get used to the retro ergonomics, but the finish is of high quality. Units manage to bring it into disrepair. Yes, and don't count on the back sofa. Driving there is very crowded and uncomfortable.